Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Rough start to the morning. Slept like shit. My back really hurts. I've got some serious knots going on, which does not make for a comfortable day. And also, the garbage men showed up before 8 a.m., so I didn't get the garbage out. Yay. Also, it's incredibly hot and schwitzy. So, all around shit start to the day. I am now looking at probably a five hour drive. It's really only four and a half hours, but I'm gonna have to stop at least once to pee because most of the time when I go this way, I don't stop. And then by the time I get there, I, like bad things. So I'm gonna try to make it a point to stop. It's another reason why I wanted to leave earlier rather than later, because that puts me like over an hour and a half before my first meeting. So that means that, in theory, I would have time to stop for lunch as well before I go to my meetings. And then uh, I can also stop. Like, if I see something cool, I'll pull over and, and maybe film it. Who knows? Probably not, but you know how that goes. I, I, I'm going to be rambling. I already tried to film this once, and it sounded stupid, and, and I couldn't speak because I haven't had coffee, and I'm miserable. So I'm just going to stop talking now, and I'm going to listen to some music to try to you know, wedge myself out of this shit mood, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I decided to actually pull over and pee and get out and stretch and not just run in, pee, run back into the truck and, and get back on the road. I have time, I built that in today. So I thought that this was interesting. They have a pet exercise area here and all down there. Well, you can't see, there's only like a couple people down there with dogs, but they have their doggies down there and they're exercising them. And I just thought that was pretty cool. Now the other thing is that this is one of the nicest rest areas I've ever stopped in. Everything is really nicely manicured. Everything's relatively clean. The inside is, I don't know, maybe it's just because it's new. I don't, I don't really know if it's new or not, but it is very clean. It's got this neat little thing here, but I gotta get closer because this is such a wide lens. Pretty neat, huh? But look at this. It is really nice here. It is not as humid here. I'm, I just crossed the border. I'm just now getting into North Carolina and it is not as humid here as it was in Virginia Beach. I mean, the sun's been up for a little while, so it's, I, I haven't checked the temperature, but it's a lot warmer out and it's almost 80 degrees. But this morning, it being barely 70, felt worse because of the humidity than it does now when it's almost 80 and not as humid. Okay, we're gonna get back in the car now. All right, kids, it's six o'clock. I've been at the hotel for a while. I actually went into the hotel and did day job stuff and made a few phone calls and, and did a bunch of shit and finished watching a murder show. And then I've been on the phone and now I'm going to get a steak because I feel like having a steak. How about that? Let's go freaking eat. All right, now we're gonna test something. Belly is full of steak and sides and all kinds of yummy deliciousness. So I am now going to just go a couple doors down here and get gas. But I wanted to test this lens out. I have the a7 IV, but I have the 11 millimeter, the Sony 11 millimeter f1.8 on here. It, the sun's down and it's dusk, whatever. So it's getting dark out, all the street lights are coming on, people are driving with their headlights on and all that shit. And I can see just fine. Right now, I have it at F4. I don't even have it down to F1.8. The ISO keeps jumping around, so it's at like 6,000, 6,400. I think this looks great. This is what I was hoping for, that I would be able to put this lens on here on the, on the A7 IV and that it would work well for situations like this, because now it's only gonna continue to get darker out earlier. So when I'm on the road like this, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dark by now. I mean, way beyond now. I mean, it, like two hours ago, it would've been dark. So that's kind of where we are. Uh, but I'm gonna go and pump gas. Okay, so I'm back in the hotel room and I just did some day job work 
Have you ever seen me do so much day job work in a day on the road? It's unheard of, but I'm getting shit done. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna vague speak for a few seconds here. And I'm telling you that life is about to change for me. I had an opportunity come up and I decided to run with it, or at least go for it, so to speak. And it looks like it might pan out for me. If that's the case, then like I titled my video yesterday that times are changing, times are really gonna be changing. So that's all I'm gonna tell you right now until I know for sure what the outcome is gonna be. And continuing the vagueness, whether it actually goes through and it works out for me or not, it was an important step for me because I didn't want to feel like I was complacent. I wanted to feel like instead of just eking my way through life, which I've joked about, I've said before that you know I'm just eking my way through life and I record it. I mean, I'm kind of joking about that because I'm not eking my way through life. I'm going through life and I enjoy my life a lot and I'm happy with it. And I regularly walk up to my wife and say, I love our life, but it is gonna be a little bit different. And there's gonna be changes that are involved for, for both of us, for my daily flow, my flow in general. But I think they're all gonna be good changes that will just give me a different flow that I'll have to adjust to, in which case you'll have to adjust to it as well because I'm not gonna be filming every day. But I've already told you that anyway, so that's kind of where I'm gonna leave that. Again, the most important part of this, whether what I'm talking about, what I'm vaguing about, whether it works out or not, it was enough for me to go for it, to get off my ass and not hesitate and, and immediately reach out for this thing that I'm going for. And it's done a lot for my attitude because it's proven to me that I'm not just sitting back and eking my way through life and that I can, when properly motivated, go out there and get it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that until this all comes through one way or the other. Shouldn't be long. So you won't have to wait very long. You needn't bother asking me. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. And that, my friends, is all I've got for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.